guess what time it is it's time for capricorns love reading for november hi capricorn it's bunny here welcome to my sacred space of love and healing i'm so glad you're here all right so this is your timeless love read whenever you find this reading it's for you capricorn okay um and though it is a timeless read uh, I will be focusing on the energy of right now um, slash November, okay? But because it is a timeless read, whenever you find it, the energies are for you. Everyone's in different stages of their journey, right? Tomorrow is Thanksgiving in the USA. If you celebrate it, happy Thanksgiving, baby. All right, so I'm going to pause it really quickly so I can clear the space with some energy sound healing and then we're going to proceed all right and if you hear um a buzzing that's my ceiling fan it got hot up in here so i turned it on so you know sorry you're gonna have to deal with that noise but i need to be comfortable if i'm going to read for you all right what do we got for capricorn our beautiful earth sign my cappies all right what do we got for capricorn please thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages for capricorn so i just read for scorpio all the other reads are done i've done aries taurus gemini cancer leo virgo libra I just read for Scorpio. Thank you, Scorpios, guides, for being here. Sending you away with love. Now connecting to Capricorn. Capricorn's energy, the ones that watch me. And the person on Capricorn's mind. The person on Capricorn's mind and in their energy field. What do they need to know about this connection with this person? Are we starting out with spirit? Five of Cups, that's not a good way to start out a reading. <laughs> Letting go of something. What is it though? Shall we continue? Two of Pentacles. Before I go get too hasty, I'm going to continue. Excuse me, pulling cards until I know what the hell is going on, okay? Sometimes the energy isn't quite clear right away off the bat. And we need to keep going so we know what the frick is going on. Page of Wands. So you've been busy manifesting someone, Capricorn, or they've been busy manifesting you. Either way, they're heavy in your energy as a watcher. They're coming up as a possible fire sign. Page of Wands. Anytime I get a page, it's always a watcher, unless it's the Page of Cups. I don't know why my voice just cracked. But either way, they see you as someone who's extremely delicious. Like the energy. <laughs> it's funny because, you know, the Page of Wands is my watcher card, right? Page of Swords, Page of Wands. But it's funny because I'm focused on the energy of the, the, the female in the, the card as well. She's very joyful and exuberant. And someone sees you as like, that really draws them in, right? The fact that they see you as like joyful, blissful. They see you as someone who's like always happy and energetic. And they really like that. They don't realize, though, you've been through the ringer in love. Like, you really... The Five of Cups shows me that you're on the verge of, like, wanting to give up. You're just like, I'm over it. But someone has been manifesting the hell out of you. Let me tell you. The energy is coming through crystal clear now. What else do we got? Two of Swords. So, yeah, someone's going to have to make a decision about something. Could be you, could be your person. 
It feels like they're trying to decide if they're going to make a move or not. This could be someone that you already know. The crow shows me that there has been communication probably with this person in the past. But it might be limited communication. It could be a Libra as well. I'm feeling Libra energy. Seven of Cups. See, we got the energy of options, right? See, why do we have the Seven of Cups here? Tell me about the Seven of Cups. I want to know if this is you. Um, figuring out your options or if this is your person. Tell me about the Seven of Cups, please. Judgments. So the judgment is about getting what you deserve. It's finding what's fitting for your soul. Okay, so along with the Seven of Cups, to me, Capricorn, this feels like you're feeling out the energy, right? You're trying to decide if this person is the right option for you, right? I feel like at times you really felt like they were connected to you on a soul level and then there was like points and moments of doubt while you were doing some self-reflecting. You know, I feel like you were the one that was keeping your options open, right? Because you were doing a lot of soul searching. You also know your worth. And so you want to make sure that whoever you give your time and energy to comes in correct. That's what it feels like. You've dealt with some duds in the past. That's why. Look, Ten of Pentacles. This, uh, uh, Capricorn, I don't know. They're, this person, look at that. It's a Ten of Pentacles. It's a happily ever after card, extended family um, I mean, I love to call it like one of the happy family cards there. The other one is the 10 of cups because look, it's the partnership. They have, you know, either a child or a grandchild. There's more babies in the background. They're abundant. They're rich. They're bougie. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> Mr. Stanley, bring me my crumpets and tea. Mm, okay. <laughs> hmm, I'm going to swing from the chandelier later as I get drunk and stupid, right? Look, I mean, it's bougie. It's rich. They're rich. They're wealthy. You know, they're happy. They have a, a freaking golden retriever. Like, <laughs> this energy does not feel crappy, Capricorn. This feels like this could be the one. Oh my God, look at what's on the bottom of the deck. Knight of Cups told you they might not be quite, quite, quite on your level, but they have good intentions. They might be fairly younger than you. Knight of Cups is a younger, masculine energy, very romantic. Sometimes they can come across as fickle, you know, because... They are very romantic and they are in love with the idea of being in love. But, you know, combined with the Ten of Pentacles, it shows me that they have thought about settling down with you. It's not like, oh, I think I have a crush. Like, they are crazy about you and they're very romantic. But, you know, they're not fickle about you. This this energy can be fickle. It's very air signy. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Wait, are those the air signs? Yes, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. But with the Ten of Pentacles, it shows me they're serious about you. If they treated you as an option before, not anymore. Not anymore. Ten of Swords. So something really big and huge had to end. 
so that this this love could come in you might have had a really bad past relationship where literally you felt like you were dying oh my capricorns but the whole entire time you were divinely guided to this moment beautiful look at that spirit is saying you have the strength to continue on your journey some of you could be dealing with the leo as well this is the card of leo this is the card of taming your demons right there's the eternity symbol this is your eternal love capricorn allow it to come in your person could possibly have tattoos look we have tattoo tattoo also it's the scales libra energy tattoos okay i'm just noticing a pattern here capricorn Ooh we ooh we some of you dealing with a bad boy or a bad girl vibe but in a sexy good way it's not like a low vibrational like um you know like crappy lower vibe this is a high vibe person they're gonna match your high vibe energy they're just tatted up Ooh, sexy i love tattoos i'm sorry but capricorn <laughs> Ooh, i don't know i don't know how you feel about tattoos but your person is tattered up i can see them in my mind's eye they have a lot of tattoos Ooh, it's sexy i love tattoos i'm sorry <laughs> I have tattoos too, so I love tattoos and piercing on a on a person. Mmm, so juicy and delicious. All right, what else does Capricorn need to know about this connection? Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So there's something that you're not seeing, Capricorn. Okay. This is about slowing down and allowing your inner guidance to lead you right to this person. Spirit is saying you're not paying attention enough. Okay? They are showing you signs. They're giving you signs when something is wrong. They're giving you signs when something is right. Pay attention to them. Okay? Ooh, calling in your soulmate. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help to bring you together. So if there's some sort of divine um, ritual that you do when you envision your soulmates or your twin flame or your person, keep doing it. It's working. Use the affirmations, okay? Use the visualizations. I am going to make a video eventually. Um talking about the things that I do in order to maintain my high frequency, my high vibration. I use self-love affirmations. I use visualizations. If you look up love visualizations or money visualizations or, you know, self-love affirmations, subliminals, things like that on YouTube, you will, you will connect with a whole library of things which can help you to keep your vibration high even if you um tend to consume things like you know horror videos um things true crime things like that which can have a tendency to lower our vibration temporarily you know news footage if you eat meats all of those things can sort of drag your vibration down but you can maintain a high frequency if you know how by doing things like affirmations, prayers, visualizations, keeping your thoughts high vibe, right? And there's an easy way to maintain your high vibration and to stay in the frequency of your um, best life if you just keep your thoughts pure and happy, retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. So spirit is also saying you might want to take a social media break. You know, if you don't, if you need to be on social media for your business or whatever, then you might just want to take some time for yourself. 
to sort of clear your energy. And there are energy clearing and aura cleansing videos on YouTube as well. Because your person is coming in very quickly. All right. So you're going to need to maintain your frequency and keep it high so that you can draw them in faster. Right. It says you're calling in your person. Period. There's no doubt about it. Capricorn. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So, you know, we're going back to the affirmations. Maybe find a self-love affirmation that you like on YouTube. Listen to it. I, I do it every morning. I say the affirmations and I repeat them when the speaker speaks and says, you know, I am drawing in um, love to myself. I adore and I love myself. I say it right with her. I say, I'm drawing in love to myself. I love and adore myself. And you know what? It has done such wonders for my confidence. And it just makes you feel good. It keeps your vibration high. Hello, little seed bug. You scared the crap out of me too. It was mutual. This little seed bug in here. He's probably the one that slammed into my head last time I was doing your reading, Capricorn. Isn't that funny? We've come full circle. He is now my friend. What's up, buddy? You want to say hi to the people on the camera? He's scared of me. I put, my, I put the card behind me and I cast it like a shadow over him and he like skidded away like, oh, <laughs> the moon is casting a shadow. All right. What does Capcorn need to know about this connection? Reading has already gotten way too long, so we're gonna try to wrap it up quickly. Curly hair. Your person may have beautiful curls, or you have beautiful curls. If you have beautiful curls, then there's your confirmation that this reading is for you. Or if your person has those beautiful curly tendrils, round, right? I have curly wavy hair too oh see i told you the answer is yes capricorn yes the answer is yes yes they want you yes they want to jump your bones yes they want to seduce you yes they want to lick your toes the, yes it's all yes <laughs> i don't know why i said lick your toes maybe they're a foot person maybe they do want to lick your toes i don't know weird I don't know why I just popped out with that. That's so strange. There are no accidents. I'm literally channeling your person's energy. Ooh, your person kinky, Capricorn. <laughs> they like toes and feet. They gonna lick them. Kind. Oh, look at that. I love that. That just made my heart so happy. They're kind. Kind. This is the only trait I want in my person. This is the most important trait for me. How do they treat people how do they treat waiters and waitresses and janitors and people that other people tend to look down on if they are kind to people to homeless people and people that other people see as you know people tend to see you know those people beneath us i don't i see everyone is equal to me right if they are kind that's the only trait that i need Everything else takes a back seat. Are they kind? How is their heart? Are they kind, caring, and loving? I can work with everything else, right? What else? All right, so we have thin lips. So you might have thin lips. They might have thin lips. You know, maybe you both have thin lips. If it resonates in some way, you'll know it's for you. So, you know, you may have thought in the past, oh, I wish my lips were, were more full. Or you might wear lipstick to try to make them full. Um, or, you know, if you're a man, maybe you're thinking, oh, God, I wish I had full lips. So women want to kiss me. It doesn't matter. Your person is fantasizing right now about kissing you. That's why lips came up because they're focused on your damn lips. So stop worrying about your lips, Capricorn, and, you know, or, you know, stop worrying about your person's lips because when they kiss you, it ain't going to matter. It's going to be fireworks. Whether your lips are thin or thick or fat or juicy or bee stung, whatever, it doesn't matter. Crooked. <laughs> they love them and you love them, so it don't matter, right? It doesn't matter. 
as long as you can put them to use and kiss with them, who gives a shit, right? Seriously. All right. Lips were made for kissing and tasting food. And for some of you licking, woohoo, Capricorn. Your person thinks you're a snack. That's what I'm hearing. They want to taste you. Oh my God. I need to stop. Look at that date. Ooh, date, date. Ooh, for some of you, it's going to start out. For some of you, you're, you're going to go on a date, something you haven't done maybe in a long time. It's going to feel uncomfortable, but it's going to be so comfortable at the same time because you guys have a soul connection. Finances, either one or both of you maybe, you know, have a lot of money. Maybe your person has a lot of money. Maybe um, you guys are having financial troubles. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to resonate. Either way, if they're taking you out on a date, they probably have money enough to do that, right? <clears throat> or you guys could have a date at home. Ooh, look. So in the past, you had this or they had this. That's why this love is so important to them. They know what it's like to be mistreated or you do. You know what it's like to be emotionally manipulated and for some of you, this is my card of even physical abuse, emotional abuse. Person who in the past, right, a narcissist, someone you had to escape. Wow. But now that they know what it's like to be in a healthy relationship. Oh, you're like a breath of fresh air for them, Capricorn. For both of you. We have third party coming up. So let's look. Let's dive into that. Why do we have third party here? This could mean that they might still be in a relationship with someone else. Or they could be coming out of a relationship with someone else. For example, they're still living with an ex while they're trying to find somewhere to live. They're going through a divorce. They're going through a separation. But there's someone still in their energy fields that they are trying to get away from. It could be this person that they're having a toxic relationship with. Right? They're breaking free though, Capricorn. Tell us more about the third party energy. Yeah, see, we have mystery. So they discovered something about this person that they didn't like. And so they're detaching from this third party energy. But this person is still showing up in their field. It could possibly be a Scorpio too. That's the card of my Scorpio. Right? And you know, from my experience, Scorpio women can be a little bit crazy. <laughs> Maybe they have a crazy Scorpio ex. Right? I'm a Scorpio rising. I'm not a crazy Scorpio. But I know that there is some Scorpios that are a little bit crazy. Either way, they're getting out of that energy. Look, the two cards in the bottom. They're going through a spiritual awakening. And they're watching you on social media. Boom. Oh, Lord, have mercy. This energy just got really, really ramped up. So they somehow watch you on some sort of platform. Whether it's on Instagram, whether it's on YouTube. Whether it's on Facebook, I don't know. It's going to be different for all of you, all of you, but they're they ooh they're watching you, Capricorn. They're watching you in all your glory. They're fantasizing. They're thinking about it. They're loving it. All right. So what is Capricorn healing at this time? That's going to help them with this connection, please. Look, Capricorn, you're learning to take off your mask. You're learning to be who you are, which is the beautiful Capricorn that I know you are. It's number two. This is really going to balance your energy once you feel comfortable to be your beautiful, kooky, sexy self. For some of you, you're going to start dancing. Maybe you love to dance, but you've never done it because, you know, you're afraid but look, there's a pair of shoes there, ballet shoes. 
you being authentic and showing your kooky, beautiful self and letting your freak flag fly is going to make your person come in faster because they're going to, it's going to make them want to be authentic and real with you as well. Look at our little seed bug friend. He's slowly making his way over here towards my feet. He's so cute. <clears throat> All right. Selling out. So you might be getting rid of this energy too. Th these are my healing cards. It shows me what you're healing in this connection, which is going to draw it in faster to you, right? So you may have, you may be healing the feeling of like, if you, you know, make a certain amount of money, if you do, a, you know, X, Y, or Z, then you're selling out your soul. You have to do what's right for you financial, emotional, mental, or otherwise, it doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't matter what other people think, if they think you're selling out, if you even feel like you're selling out, right? Or you're, you know, not doing what's right for your soul, right? It's not selling out if, look, there he is. It's not selling out if it serves you well. Does that make sense? Stop feeling guilty about needing things, about wanting your needs to be met. It's not selling out to want more money, to do things to create that money. It's not selling out to want to be different, to dress different, to feel different, right? It's not, it's not selling out to be happy. It's not selling out to take care of yourself first right it's not and even the little seed bug agrees so i read somewhere on instagram that you can tell if you're a high vibrational frequency being if um bugs and stuff are attracted to you and if they like to sit on you and enjoy your energy hi baby you want a water let me get you water let me pause this Ooh, where'd he go <laughs> okay that was a nice little break all right, so we're gonna move on. And I put my little the little seed bug out in the hallway. It's too cold for them outside. So I don't wanna put him outside because he'll just die. At least if he's gonna die in here, he's gonna die happy and warm, right? It's, it's winter here in the US where I live. All right, what is the final card for Capricorn? This reading has gotten way too long. I just love my Capricorns, so. All right, what else do we have for Capricorn? What is the final Akashic record card you want me to break out for Capricorn and their person? What do they need to know about their Akashics together, okay? Wow, we have number 15, Ghosts. Whoa. This is nuts. I don't even know how to interpret this. You guys may have had problems with spirits in the past. I don't know. Wow. Let's, you know what? I need to break this book out. I don't even know. I don't think I've ever gotten this card. I don't even know how to interpret it, honestly. We're going to have to read from the book. Capricorn, that's crazy. Release the ghosts from your Akashic records that are holding your energy back from spiritual growth. Clear your living and working space of energies that no longer serve. Communicate as you feel guided with the spirit world for healing, clearing, and clarity and higher self ascension. It's number 15. Wow. So if you add it up, it's number six, which is the energy of spiritual growth. Ghosts or entities are holding on to this person or situation. Let go of all that does not serve with love. Wow, I am literally flabbergasted. I don't even know what to say about that. That's for you and your person in this connection. I don't know how that's going to tie into this. Whoa, that's... Ooh, I just got chills everywhere all over my body. Crazy. All right, Capricorn, if something resonated, please like and subscribe. It's completely free to you. Share with all your amazing Capricorn friends. Um, and if you want to book a reading with me, all of my prices are in the description box below my video. Have a happy holiday, Capricorn. I love you.